after you've shredded a bunch of paper, let's have a look here. Yeah, this is this is what I find to be very good for packing. It's uh, environmentally friendly. It keeps the models in the box nice and tight. And yeah, it's biodegradable, which is great. It's not like plastic, so you can keep using it um, over and over again, or you can just recycle it. Here's the model that I've got. This is a uh, Dash 8 model. It measures, I guess, about a foot by a foot. Now let me show you. If I were to try to put it in a box like this, it just barely fits, but you would be absolutely crazy to do this. Any movement of this box during shipment will shear the wings and tail off. You cannot put a model in a box that has no clearance. If there's any contact of the tail to the box, any of the wing surfaces, the model will be destroyed. So this cannot work. You cannot do this. What you have to do, you have to find a box that... Oh, and you see the model's already getting damaged. You have to find a box that is sufficient enough to handle the dimensions of the model. So as you can see here, we have no, con there's no contact between any of the points of the wing, tail or nose. This is what you need to do. But first you need to put in a bed of good packing material. You can't have the model sit on the bottom of the box, otherwise it will be destroyed. So, this is what you need to do. You need to first of all get a bed of packing material. Okay. You need to make sure that it's a good amount of resting space there. And then you can set the model in the center. So, again, you've got good space and now you're ready to put extra material on top. It's always best to use shredded paper because it's environmentally friendly. If you don't have shredded paper you can use peanuts. So basically... Okay so once the model is packed in the box you can see that the model is right here. You um, you actually have to cover the model. So the idea is that it's packed tight so that it cannot move. So what you have to do is you have to put more packing material in here to get the box nice and tight. So there'll be no chance of movement. So you can just use whatever you have, plastic, newspaper, whatever you have. The, the key is that it does need to be tight. Not not so tight that you'll damage the model, but tight that there's no chance for movement of the model during shipment. So, well, that's too big. You can use old clothing, whatever you have, actually. So I think that's pretty good. So now, that's it. That's, that's good. So now this box, as you can see, there's absolutely no movement in here. The box is very, very secure. If you mail this around the world, I can almost guarantee you the model will not be damaged. That is how you pack a box.